Hi there. Um, today I'm going to talk about the beautiful Adaran Select Midraparu four-star premium all-inclusive resort located in the Ra Atoll in Maldives. Um, this is a very popular hotel with the European market and has is well established and getting better and better all the time. So for ease of finding things out, I recommend that you go to my website, which is select-rep.com. Um, and here you'll see, if you go to portfolio, a list of all of the hotels. If you click on the Adaran Select Midaparu, you'll see um, everything you need to, to know or find is here. So we have fact sheets of resort maps. We have what's included with the all-inclusive, all of the images that you need, the website, TripAdvisor scores, uh, and videos. There's also a little summary here, which you might be able to use within text that you need for brochures and websites, um, to some facts and figures about the resort. And down below here, these are images that are actually located within the image library that I was showing you above. So just to start you off, I'm just gonna to go to the resort map and you'll see here, when you arrive at, at Mali Airport, you come out of the arrivals and in front of you are lots of desks. These desks are the desks of each island. You'll see to your right, where it currently is, um, the Adaran and the Heritage booth. When you arrive, you go across there with your luggage and you check in, um, they take your luggage away. And for this island, we recommend, or most people will take a seaplane. Um, we will then take you to the seaplane terminal or bus. And there is a lounge uh, where there's coffees, teas, juices, um, snacks. There is no alcohol because it's not allowed, but it's a great place to relax. There's Wi-Fi as well prior to your departure. You may be lucky, you may have a short wait and you may go straight away to the plane. On entering the plane, I would recommend it as a couple or if there's more of you to take the single seats on the left. Why? Because you have a window each and you can see out the window each. Most couples tend to go to the right hand side where they have to, the second person has to lean across the first one to see out the window. So if you take the left hand side of the plane, you can see out the window very clearly. And when you're coming back, try the same again so you can see the other side of the atolls because it's quite stunning. So going back to, um, if we now go back to the, the, the website, in here, as I say, lots of things you need to know about. So I'm just gonna change across now to a presentation um, which will help you, sorry, just one second, understand the island better. So this is um, a 3D sort of virtual tour of the island. Um, I'm just gonna sort of, it's not easy to maneuver, but I'll just give you a little walk around. So as you can see the island, it's actually quite a large island. You'll see there in the middle is a tennis court to give you a sort of idea of size. But what you'll find is that um, it's got a beautiful white sandy beach that sweeps around it. One of the big, big selling points of this resort is the, is the reef, the house reef. I've been a number of times, I've seen turtles, manta ray, Nemo, uh, lots of cuttlefish. Um, and I found most of that was sort of down this side for me personally. Um, so when you arrive, included in your all-inclusive, you'll get fins and snorkels provided, which you return at the end of the trip. Um, one thing to, to be aware or not to, to, a good selling point on a point to note is that all of the resort or the villas, apart from ones over the water, are in a horseshoe shape. They go around the island, hidden away amongst these trees. On the resort map that I showed you earlier, which I'll go, well, I won't go back to now, um, they're all numbered. So if somebody said I wanted to be near the beach, you, you can see from that map the number of the room. Um, it also tells you where the family rooms are located. Typically, family rooms are located in the centre of the of the of the horseshoe shaped um, areas. Uh, we have many, many repeat customers who go back year after year and ask the same villa. So back in November 2019 we became premium all inclusive. What did that mean? That meant flexible dining amongst the restaurants. We have um, a number of outlets. We've got four restaurants and four bars, which is very comprehensive for an all inclusive resort. So um, one of the bars is open 24 seven, which is, again is unusual. Um, and included within the drinks itself, there are 50 cocktails and, uh, and mocktails. Um, beer is served by the glass and your mini bar is replenished once a day. So that's the aerial shot of the resort. This is the, the overwater villas. In the past, they were uh, advertised separately. These are the prestige villas over water. Um, in the past, these ones had more, um, 
more options than those on land. But now you'll find that the whole island is pretty more inclusive and there's flexibility to, to dine and eat and drink where you wish. So um, I'm going to quickly run through. So it, there's another, there's a check-in for those staying in the, in the, the water villas. I've gone to the wrong one there, sorry. Let's go back again. The main reception is in the middle of the island. So when you arrive, you go to the main reception. The main reception is like this. And there's a shop there you'll see, which sells lots of things you need, like sun cream, hats, snorkeling gear, if you want your own stuff. Um, there's a desk, a help desk there. And if you look up there, another shop. And over here on this side, there's a jewelry shop, but here, if you stay X number of nights, there are excursions that are included. So if you're doing a particular excursion, for example, um, sunset cruise or fishing, you just put your name down here on the sheet and uh, the, the date and time. So um, you just basically register that way. So that's the easy, it's very easy to do. And um, snorkeling, etc. you can register for it there. There is also another reception at the water villa site. Um, so guests staying in the water villas, which is the prestige water villas, they would check in here. So it's a bit more um, personal and smaller. Uh, I mean, looking out there, you'll see the villas across the front. Going across to the accommodation, we have beach villas. Now, these are the base category, but what you're finding over time, we've started to um, change these to become deluxe beach villas, but there are 106 of these. And basically, you have a, a bathroom outside there. The mini bar, oh, go down a sec is replenished every day with, with juices and beer and um, soft drinks and water. And there's AC, air conditioning there, which you can control yourself. Flat screen TV with satellite TV channels. Uh, but the great thing about it is every villa has its own balcony or terrace. So not balcony, everyone has their own terrace and some beds. I'm just gonna go outside now and look back in. So you'll see a double bed, the bathroom at the far side on the left, the main door, and you have an area for your towels. And this one here would be further back on the horseshoe because there's more greenery in front of it. But if you wanted one a bit close to the beach, again, look at the map I showed you, you can pick the numbers that, that suit you for that one. So it's very green and resort and quite a decent size. I'll show you the newer ones in a minute because not every room category is on here. Um, I'll show you some images at the end. So prestige water villas, these are the ones over water, of course. These are a bit more luxurious. Um, and you'll see mini bar replenished every day. But the balcony is great. You've got your glass floor there, you've got your sunbeds there, you've got a jacuzzi there, and you've got a day bed there. This villas over water are for adults only. Um, the beach villa I just showed you a minute ago, you could have an extra bed in there, but it's quite tight. I did mention previously we do have family rooms which are located in the centre of the horseshoe area of, of villas. These are bigger rooms, typically two villas joined together. On to dining. This resort is great for all-inclusive why? Because it's got a great choice of restaurants for Four bars, four restaurants. So the main restaurant is um, it's called um, I it actually it's J J A I J A A F A E J Frey Restaurant International Buffet and Live Cooking. It's a big area there. It's a great choice of fresh fruits and different types of food along there. Theme nights, soups, breads, and that's that. Then we have, what else have we got here? We've got um, the main, so we go to Suf, Sufura restaurant. Sufura restaurant, um, probably better to make restaurants with a, a reservation for this particular type. So this is authentic Indian food. It's a bit smaller in space, hence the need to make um, reservations. So it's all located on there, served in front of you, fresh. But you'll see the seatings outside there, and over there. Another restaurant. And again, like I said, they're not all located on this um, the presentation. This one here is um, is outside, and this is a Mediterranean cuisine and with tapas and healthy eats. So it's called Thava. 
probably make reservations here because again, there's less seating, but obviously there's plenty of seating. This is one of the newer restaurants located right on the beachfront. And then we go to um, Cafe Mass. Outside Cafe Mass is a pizzeria and street food. Um, got 24 hour, this is the 24 hour bar. On to some of the bars, the main bar. This is located by the main pool. I say main pool, there's only one pool. Um, there's a big pool around the outside of the island, so it's not so necessary. So this is the main bar. All of the drinks there, different brands are included. Relax and informal. In interestingly, the, the dress code is, is casual. Um, the only thing you can't really wear beachwear to the to the restaurants, but you know, shorts, trousers, t-shirts, polo shirts, they're all fine. Then we're going to go to um, the Sunset Bar. I'm only showing you two of the four bars here, remember, so there are more, but just to give this a Sunset Bar, so we've got a pool table. Uh, this was during a World Cup or something similar, so this themed night here. So just remember, there's it's all your international drinks, cocktails, wines, they're all included in the all-inclusive. On to facilities. We have uh, a main pool that I talked to you about before. This, is a, this has a lifeguard and there are depth markings. There are beds around there. This was taken at dusk, so it's not so appealing looking, but it's actually a nice area to lounge around. So looking back there, there's a, there's a pool bar there with seats and there's the main bar is just there. And then we have, um, of course, water sports. Included with the all-inclusive, there is um, non-motorised water sports. The hobby cat, you need to have a licence for to use that. The things that involve motorised um, activities, there will be a charge for that. But things like um, paddle boards, uh, windsurfers, they're all included as water skiing. Of course, it's not, that's an extra charge. So that's right, they're located on there. This is where you go and collect your fins and your snorkels when you first arrive um, at the resort. Most people going to the resort will um, experience the spa at some point. This is located just off the reception area. Um, the busiest time probably is about four o'clock till seven o'clock, um, but you can, there's, there's all the different um, spa treatments you'd expect. Um, Ayurveda, Thai massage, Swedish massage, they're all there. We have some single cabins and some, um, some main cabins as well. So just to go back to an aerial shot again, beautiful sweeping island, lovely white sand, amazing house reef. Just another aside actually, we have a sister hotel called Heritage Arrow, it's a five-star resort. And if you take a speedboat from one to the other, I won't lie to you, I can't remember which one of those little ones it is out there. It's a five minute speedboat ride between the two. So in theory, you could do a twin center with Adaran Select Mitoparu and Heritance Ara, where you start, it's always better to start with a four star and end with a five star. But we do have people who are doing it either way around. Um, so twin centers are possible with this island. It's just a little look out there. There are many, because the Ra Atoll is less populated with boats, there are some stunning areas for diving. So dive is very big here. We do have a dive center with a paddy course um, where you could do a paddy course, for example. So restaurants for, bars for, I've only shown you some of them, so you just got an idea of it. Um, what else is there? The all-inclusive um, mini bar, it, you'd get four cans of beer per day, you'd get four orange juices and mango juices, four bottles of soft drinks, some chocolates, two bottles of mineral water, and some milk. On arrival, you'll get a dental kit, shaving kit, cotton buds, flip-flops, and beach bag. Um, those people that stay for uh, um, more than five nights, they'll get um, access to um, some excursions, they do change from time to time, but um, it will be, you know, things like a, a dolphin watching, 
sunset cruise, depending on the duration of stay and the time, it can change. So that's it, 231 resorts, uh, villas. Um, I just want to show you, uh, as a last aside, the the, the, the the base room has been upgraded to a deluxe beach view room and it looks like this. I'm just going to go into a um, second, share screen. Sure. Yeah. So just to show you, the deluxe bedrooms look like that's the base room there, the deluxe beach, sorry, the beach villas. Okay, so you get twins or double, depending on what you want. But here they are. So the difference being they're whiter, same size and everything, but the bed is located in the middle of the room. On the back side of the bed is your mini bar and a desk, and the bathroom is a bit more superior. So deluxe beach rooms are an upgraded version of the, the beach rooms. There's nothing wrong with the beach rooms, but I personally prefer the deluxe beach rooms. There's the pool, spa, and the underwater world is quite amazing. It's a 45 minute seaplane ride from Mali to the resort. We charter all our own planes. We do share between Adaran Select, Midraparu and Heritage Ara, but we don't hop to the island. We, we go to our own islands um, bit by bit. And just so you know, there are other islands within, within the family. There's Adaran Club Renali, four star. There's Adaran Prestige Badu, five star. Adaran Select, Hudrafan Fushi, four star and Mead Rapara, which we'll talk about now. Heritage Ara is our premium brand. It's the, um, the first um, heritage property outside of Sri Lanka. So basically that completes um, a little presentation. I hope you, hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, just drop me an email um, uh, or give me a phone call and I'll be there to help you. So thank you very much, um, everybody. And um, we'll speak soon.